Hello friends and students. We know that a full adder can be implemented using two half adders and similarly even a full subtractor can be implemented using two half subtractors along with an additional OR gate. Now how can we do that? We shall see. So let's first check out the two table of a half subtractor. Let's consider two inputs A, B and then we have the difference and borrow. We have the input 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. The difference is going to be 0, 1, 1, 0. And what about the borrow? It's going to be 0 here, 0 minus 1. Of course, you have a borrow 1 and then 0 and 0. So this is something which you already know. So difference is nothing but A, X or B and the borrow is A bar B. To view the implementation of a half subtractor or a full subtractor, check out the playlist Digital Electronics where I have detailedly explained the working of a half subtractor and a full subtractor and also we have designed both the half subtractor and a full subtractor using logic gates. So we will not be dealing with that. So here we will only be focusing as to how we can implement a full subtractor using two half subtractors. So this is the expression which we already know. And now what about the full subtractor? The full subtractor difference is nothing but A XOR, B XOR, B in. If there are three inputs A, B and B in, it is given by this expression and the borrow out. I'll write the final expression. It is A bar B plus B in plus B B in. So let's assume that there are three inputs A, B, B in and the two outputs are difference and borrow out. We find that the difference is nothing but the XOR of the three inputs and borrow out is given by this expression. Now how do you get these expressions? Please make sure that you go through the full subtractor video. The link has been given in the description. So there I've explained how we get these expressions for difference and borrow out. So now let's see how we can implement a full subtractor using two half subtractors. Now I have two inputs, let the two inputs be A and B. Now the intermediate output difference is nothing but A X or B. And then I have the intermediate borrow which is nothing but a bar B. So I pass A bar. I have A bar here. Pass A through an inverter. I get A bar. And then B. Both of them through a two input AND gate. So this gives me A bar B. So this is the half subtractor. So this is one stage of the half subtractor. Now in order to get the difference which is A X or B X or B in, I need three inputs. So I have the other input which is B in. And we know that to get the difference, I need to XOR all the three inputs. So this output, intermediate output and the third input is passed through another XOR gate and we get the difference. This happens to be the difference of a full subtractor which is nothing but equal to A X or B X or B in. Alright, so, uh, so far so good. I al also have another stage where the first output is passed through an inverter and the second output, both of them are passed through an AND gate. Now when I pass A X or B through an inverter, I get X nor. So I can write the expansion which is A bar B bar plus A B. And then that is multiplied with B in. So this is what I get here. So this is a half subtractor. So this essentially is another half subtractor. So this is the first half subtractor. Let me call this as HS1 
and this is the second half subtractor i'll call it as hs2 so next what is done the output the intermediate output here the second output of the first half subtractor so i have this is nothing but a bar b and this output the second intermediate output of the second half subtractor they both are passed through a two input or gate so we have mentioned that we need an extra or gate and that will give us the borrow out of a full subtractor and what is this borrow out it is equal to a bar into b plus b in plus b b in so let's check if this expression what i get here is equal to this now here i have a bar b bar plus a b into b in and here i have a bar b and what is borrow out so borrow out is nothing but the or of these two which is a bar b bar plus a b into b in plus a bar b now what do we observe we observe that here i have this expression which happens to be the most simplified expression for b out now i need to check if this is equal to this for difference there is no problem because difference is nothing but the xor of the three inputs and i have the same now let's check if they are equal now let me expand it i have a bar b bar b in plus a b b in plus a bar b now when i observe i have a bar b and a bar b in that is a bar b plus a bar b in and then i have b b in so here i have a bar b but here i have a bar b bar b in so this b bar has to be eliminated so how do i do that so let me multiply this expression with 1 plus b in so that the expression does not change the value of the expression does not change so i have a bar b bar b in so when i multiply these two when i remove the brackets i get a bar b plus a bar b b in so i have a bar b b in plus a b b in plus a bar b now observe here among these two i have a bar b in common so i have a bar b in common into b plus b bar what is b plus b bar this is equal to 1 all right so this will be 1 plus a b b in plus a bar b so this is 1 so i have a bar b in so observe here i have got a bar b a bar b in now here i have a b b in but what do i need i need b b in so what should i do now let me multiply a bar b with 1 plus b in so when i multiply this with 1 plus b in i get a bar b in plus a b b in plus a bar b b in plus a bar b so this is what i have now if you observe among these two expressions b b in is common right so let me write it here so we have a bar b in plus so here these two have b b in common b b in common so when i take b b in common i have a plus a bar plus a bar b so this is nothing but equal to one so here i have the final expression as a bar b in plus b b in plus a bar b so among these two what is common a bar is common so let me take it common so i have a bar into b plus b in plus b b in and this is nothing but the expression what we have got so if i simplify the two table of a full subtractor using a three variable k map for difference i will get a x or b x or b in but for borrow out i will get a bar into b plus b in plus b in and this is what i have got here and this is the output so therefore 
A full subtractor can be implemented using two half subtractors with an additional OR gate as we have shown here and we have also observed that the output what I get here B out is nothing but the same as the simplified output for borrow out which was obtained by using a three variable K map. So I hope you followed this very interesting and very similar to what we had done where we try to implement a full adder using two half adders with an additional gate. So to view all the other videos in digital electronics, do click on the I button or go through the playlist digital electronics and do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching.